the battle against the COVID-19 continues, the African continent still faces challenges to produce a COVID-19 vaccine. Despite clinical trials taking place in few countries, the African Union had earlier initiated a program that will help raise resources to purchase coronavirus doses to be shared among countries. Now, developed countries have started rolling out approved vaccines and some medical experts are worried it may take more than time before it reaches Africa. Details in this report. Part of the process involves clinical trials of candidate vaccines and only two sub-Saharan countries are conducting those trials at the moment, South Africa and Kenya. And beyond those uh, two countries, there are uh, quite uh, advanced discussion and negotiation with uh, Uganda uh, for a vaccine that is developed by the Imperial College uh, in the UK um, to start um, a phase three also uh, clinical trial in Uganda. Uh, but this is still at a very preliminary level. Uh, level. Probably we may see something happening uh, next, next year. Even when those trials are over, the continent still faces a challenge as it has limited manufacturing capacity to produce the COVID-19 vaccine. Currently, only South Africa, Egypt and Senegal have the expertise to produce the vaccine. Other countries are, are interested, such as Ethiopia and Kenya. Um, and I, so I think in the next, say, three to five years, we will see this capacity increasing. But we have to accept that um, it isn't just a matter of building a factory to actually build up the expertise to have to be able to manufacture and produce quality vaccines does take years. There's a concern that it's only the richer developed countries that will get the first round of vaccines once they are approved by regulators. About half of the potential vaccine manufacturing capacity is earmarked for, for richer countries in the world. But given that they are now likely, if, if things go, continue to go as well, as we've seen with the early results from a number of vaccines, if there is an oversupply, I think there is a serious commitment from those richer countries to find ways to share an excess of vaccines with, with poorer countries. The African Union acted decisively and early on in the pandemic to create an online platform to pool resources and centralise price negotiations on supplies and equipment. It now wants to purchase 750 million doses of a successful vaccine. I know that there are ongoing discussions with respect to bilateral uh, engagements, hoping to do bilateral agreements with the various vaccine manufacturers. Assumedly, um, and, and we don't fully understand this yet, I think it's evolving, um, the, the necessary uh, quality assurance, quality testing, and also the necessary cold chain management and supply chain uh, aspects would be factored into the type of vaccine or vaccines that get procured on the platform. As everyone waits with bated breath for those approvals to go through for those candidate vaccines, it now becomes a nuts and bolts and logistical issue.